you. And by Delta Airlines, because geography is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. All these people want to know. San Diego. And one of these dumb shoes could find her. She's traveled to Mexico, speaks Spanish, and has her red belt in karate. Meet Rose Carnaval. She speaks Portuguese, travels off into Portugal, and likes to play basketball. Meet Liliana Ferreira. His family is from Ghana. He likes ghost stories and art and wants to visit the Bermuda Triangle. Meet Bazi Ghani. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Vazzy, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey, Lillian, good to see you. Hey, Rose, how are you? Hey, folks, they travel with me every day. Rockabella. Mm-hmm. And as you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that, as we say, is not bad. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get started with this thing at the very top of the show. Chief, who are we after? This is Contessa. Contessa. Her accent's fake, it's phony royal. This pompous jerk makes my blood boil. Her last known whereabouts? <laughs> South Africa. On February 2nd, 1659, Jan van Riebeek wrote in his diary, Today, wine was pressed for the first time from Cape grapes. Thus began South Africa's long history of winemaking. France's King Louis XVI stocked his cellar with South African wine. Napoleon demanded it when in exile on St. Helena Island. And today, South Africa's vineyards, located mostly on the Cape of Good Hope, produce some 600 million bottles of wine each year. Or they did until today. Oh. When Contessa <laughs> crashed the Cape in search of grape. Driving a customized bottle of Chateau de Flimplam Noir, she picked every last vineyard in the country clean. She'll never learn that theft just isn't cheap. Gumshoes, put the grab on that grapacious Contessa and solve today's case. Wine not. Thank you, Chief. All right, guys, trying to find Contessa and the vineyards. To help you out here, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? For our very first clue, though, we got a big clue coming in from a very little shrimp. Here is Prawn Wayne. Well, careful, partner. I may be small, but I get mean when I'm riled. Kind of like them poison dart frogs down in the South American rainforest. When I work up a sweat, you'd better skedaddle. Because they use a powerful poison. Well, yes, sir. You could even die from it. The Chico Indians who live on the Pacific coast dip their arrows in that poison before they go hunting. Well, any critter they hit is instantly paralyzed. Yep, those frogs are pretty tough hombres. Well, and so are you, Prawn. Okay, guys, name the country where Contessa has taken the vineyards. Is it Suriname, Argentina? Or Colombia. Remember the clues that we heard. Pacific Coast, Poison Dart Frogs, and Chaco Indians. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Once you have those answers, hold them nice and high so I know that you are ready. All starting off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks, starting to find a contestant in the vineyards. Vasi is ready, so is Liliana, and so is Rose. Vasi, we start with you. What do you say, buddy? Colombia. Uh, Colombia. Liliana, what do you say? Argentina. Argentina, Rose. Colombia. Colombia, the answer we're looking for is Colombia. Nice job, Vasi and Rose. <laughs> So that means, Vasi, you go up to 60. Liliana's still in there with 50. And Rose, 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Okay, Gumshoes, for our next clue, Hi, let's Greg. go to the I'm chief. just installing this sign in the office. Okay, cool. But, excuse me, Chief, I can't go across the sign. That's ridiculous. What possible use... Uh, Kangaroos often cross roads in Australia, Greg. Like the Air Highway. Its eastern end is in the state whose capital is Adelaide. Along the highway, you'll see warning signs like these for different animals like wombats. Wow. Mm-hmm. Even camel crossing signs, Greg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's one more thing. Hi, Greg. 
think we'd uh, better just move along before this gets any stranger. Thank you, Chief. Uh, okay, Gumshoes, name the Australian state where Contessa has taken the vineyards, if you will, please. Is it New South Wales, South Australia, or Queensland? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital is Adelaide and eastern end of Air Highway. Uh, Vasi is still thinking about it, and now he's ready. Vasi, what do you say, bud? Queensland. Queensland. What do you think, Liliana? New South Wales. New South Wales. Rose. New South Wales. New South Wales. The answer we're looking for is... South Australia. Sorry about that, guys. You can say aw oh, if you want to. Okay. Sorry. Vasi is going to stay at 60. Liliana is going to stay at 50. Rose at 60. Acme Crime Bucks. And as just a reminder, everyone at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you very much for our next clue. Let's go into our favorite Cliptomaniac shop, Phil the Barber. Phil. Well, I'll tell you something, Barry. You're looking a little fuzzy around the braid. Let me give you a little trim around that. Okay. Watch this. Hold on to this. I'll be right back. Hey, Craig. Good to see you. I tell you. Voix c'est la pomple mousse. That's French for where is the grapefruit. And speaking of France, I heard Contessa showed up at the Louvre, that huge museum they got up in northern France. Not long ago, they finished a new addition to the Louvre, this crazy big old class pyramid in the central courtyard. Take a look. Huh? See, folks sure made a big fuss over that at first. Thought it was too weird to go with the rest of the museum, which are centuries-old palace-type buildings. But... Wouldn't you know, people got to love that pyramid, and now it attracts lots of visitors. So what the hey? Speaking of getting used to, you won't have any trouble adjusting to this. Now, will you, pal? Take a look at this. I call it my pirouette. Parlez vous français? Très bon. <laughs> All right, fellas, got a quick question for you. Can we can can? You bet we can can. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Marseille, Brussels, or Paris? Remember the clues that we heard? Northern France, Louvre Museum, and Glass Pyramid Controversy. Uh, Vasi's ready. So is Liliana, and so is Rose. Vasi, we're coming to you. What do you say, buddy? Brussels. Brussels. Liliana, what do you think? I also say Brussels. Brussels, Rose. So I also say Brussels. Brussels, the answer we're looking for is Paris. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yes, there it is. <laughs> okay, now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show. It is called The Lightning Round. Oh, yes. As you know, all of these questions are about Contessa's most recent known whereabouts. Give you five Acme Crime Bucks every time you answer a question correctly. So, hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. <clears throat> Here we go. In 1991, this surprisingly controversial attraction opened in suburban Paris. Is it Six Flags Over the Eiffel Tower, Euro Disney, or La Grande Adventure? Bossy. Euro Disney. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Take up to 65. Here's the next question. After cycling for about 23 days, the winner of the Tour de France bike race crosses the finish line in Paris. Who's there to greet him? Is it Jerry Lewis, the president of France, or Jules Verne? Liliana. President of France. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Take up to 55. Here's the last question. New Yorkers take the subway and Londoners take the tube. What do Parisians take? Is it the loop de loop? The brioche or the metro? Uh, Rose. Brioche. Uh, sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Liliana. The metro. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay, listen, guys. Uh, that means it's time for us now to go to our. Uh, well, I have a Greg, little... would you come in here, please? I certainly will. I have a meeting with the chief. I'll be right back, okay? Be right back. Hey, chief, what? Hey, that is a great. Great windmill, wow. let me tell you. Thanks, Greg. You know, I had it installed this morning. It is yeah. a great way to save money. Mm -hmm. As of today, all office power comes from that windmill. Well, Chief, that is all well and good as long as the wind keeps blowing. But what if the wind dies down? Did you think about that? No, I hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe oh. you should give it some thought. Oh, great. Oh, <sighs> now we've got no power. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should be. All right. Let's do the contest. Fine. Write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. When you collected four loops and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are today's winners. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to the, the winners. winners.
Well, I guess the windmill thing was a failure. Well, now, come on, Chief. Hold on a second. Don't get down. I think I got an idea here. Don't we have one of those electric fans around here someplace? Yeah, it's over by the file cabinet. Okay. Why? Well, I have an idea, like I told you. Set that there. Turn this on here. How did you do that? Very simple. I plugged in the fan and blew on the windmill. But where'd the fan get the power? From the windmill. Yeah, but the windmill wasn't turning. Well, not until I plugged in the fan. Yeah. No, of well, if you turn, you could... Well, you, that, you know, that... That actually kind of makes sense. It, if you don't think about it too much. <laughs> phone tap. Head for a state on the New England coast and hide at the Tanglewood Music Festival. Isn't that a heavy metal group? Oh, you know, I can stand all that screeching. Contessa, Tanglewood is a classical music festival. Can you stand listening to a great orchestra playing under the stars in the Berkshire Mountains? Oh, I can stand it. Crowds from around the world have come to Tanglewood each summer for over 50 years. Some of the world's best composers, conductors, and musicians have played there in a Commonwealth state. Please, Carmen. There is nothing common about wealth. Well, I guess she should know. Okay, Gumshoes, name the state where the Contessa has taken the vineyards. Is it Massachusetts, Vermont, or New Jersey? None of the clues that we heard. New England Coast, Tanglewood Music Festival, and Commonwealth State. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find out where the Contessa has taken the vineyards right now. 60, 60, and 65. Vasi's ready. So is Liliana. So is Rose. Vasi, what do you say, buddy? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Liliana. Vermont. Vermont, Rose. New Jersey. New Jersey, the answer we're looking for is Massachusetts. Nice job, Bozzi. <laughs> okay, we just received word that the Contessa has left Massachusetts, so let's pick up the chase. Ooh, the chase. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. Uh, as you know, all of your answers are worth five Agni Crime Bucks, so hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor here and listen very carefully. Here we go. Contessa sped to the country whose name is Rich Coast in Spanish. Name it, Liliana. Costa Rica. Is right. Next, she whizzed into Nicaragua's capital. Name it. Basi? San Jose. It's, sorry, it's Managua. From Managua, she blipped over the border due north. What country is she in now? Basi? Panama. Sorry, it's Honduras. Then she charmed her way into the capital city of Belmopan. Name the country she's in now. Rose. C Cuba. Sorry, it's Belize. Contessa flew to the beaches of Mexico's eastern peninsula. Name it. Lillian. Lily. Sorry, it's the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay, that means at the end of the chase round, Bossy has 75, Liliana 65, Rose 60. Okay, guys, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the map where we think the Contessa is headed. So, take a look at this map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, it looks like everybody is ready, and so uh, for our final clue, we will. Uh, uh -huh. it's acapella. She got minions in her purse And she's just about to flee You gotta, gotta go, she's in 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 Catch Contessa, she's in For the very train wreck Okay, guys, name the state, if you will, please, where the Contessa has taken the vineyards. Is it Kentucky, Mississippi, or South Carolina? Remember the clues that we heard? South of Tennessee, Town of Vaughn, and Trainwreck of Casey Jones. 
Make a decision as quickly as you can, guys. This is the final clue of this round. 75 for Vasi, 65 for Liliana. It's Rose with 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Rose, I'm coming to you first. You have 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 10 Crime Bucks. 10 Crime Bucks. What'd you say, Rose? Kentucky. Kentucky is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 10. This may work out for you, though. Liliana, you have 65 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 10 Crime Bucks. 10 Crime Bucks. What'd you say? Kentucky. Kentucky's not right, but you're going to go down to 10, so who knows what's going to happen here. Vasi, you have 75 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? 10. 10 Crime Bucks. What did you say? I said Mississippi. Mississippi is right. Nice job, Vasi. That means that Vasi and Liliana, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. All right. Rose, put it there, pal. You did a great job. You had some great detective work there, and we have some great stuff for you. Chief. That royal heinous Contessa can be a royal pain to catch, but I'm proud you never gave up the chase. That kind of perseverance deserves something special, like this official Acme gumshoe gear. It includes an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. See, it writes just like a regular pen, and it has a built-in digital recorder. Remember, Chief, congratulate the gumshoe. I was getting to that. Congratulations, gumshoe. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, the contestant is headed to Mississippi. we got to get there fast, so we're going to mow them ourselves. Be sure to take a deep breath when we get ready to go. Wait, yeah. Are you and the gumshoes ready to mow them? Yes, Chief, we are. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo. Feel pretty good? I do. Okay, it's right over this way. Head the way. Head the way. Head the way. Uh, Okay, guys, you know where to go. Bossy's there. Liliana's there. I'm over here. The Chief will soon be here with some very important information. Listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? Okay. There are 15 places here in Mississippi where you might find the Contessa, the Warrant, or the Vineyards. Let's look at a few of them. Start by combing the columns at the old courthouse in Vicksburg. Built by slaves in 1858, it's now a Civil War museum. Snoop around the exhibits. You just might find some stolen vineyards. Next, head for Tupelo. This is where Elvis Presley was born. Some say on a quiet night, you can hear the wind whisper, Priscilla, make me another peanut butter and bologna sandwich. <laughs> then have a look-see at the Biloxi Lighthouse. At one time, this white beacon was painted black. Legend says it was because of Lincoln's assassination, but chances are it just needed a paint job. Finally, if you run into trouble, look up Acme Special Agent Artillery Annie. She's the toughest gunnery sergeant around until it starts raining. Now, it's up to you to rain down upon the evil Contessa. Gumshoes, find the vines and confine that conniver. Thanks a lot, Chief. We will do it. Okay, guys, you know the uh, order here. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Vasi, you had the most crime bucks at the end of the last round. You go first. Elvis Presley birthplace. Elvis Presley's birthplace. Vanish Vineyards. Very nice job. You found the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Mm, the Soto National Forest. The Soto National Forest. Nothing there, but you found the loot. Nice job, Vasi. We turn both back around. Liliana, your turn. Elvis Presley's birthplace. Elvis Presley's birthplace. Vanished Vineyards. Go ahead, Liliana. Moon Lake. Moon Lake. Contessa. Very interesting. You get the loot and the Contessa. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Liliana, go ahead. Mississippi Delta. Mississippi Delta. Nothing there. We turn all three of them back around. Vasi, your turn. Elvis Presley's birthplace. Elvis Presley's birthplace. The Great Escape. Uh, okay, Faulkner's go ahead. Faulkner's Home. What is it? Faulkner's Home. Faulkner's Home. William, take out the trash. <laughs> A true quote. We turn both back around. Liliana, your turn. Elvis Presley's birthplace. Elvis Presley's birthplace. Chateau Vigan. Go ahead, Liliana. Kermit the Frog Exhibit. Kermit the Frog Exhibit. The Warrant. You have the loot and the warrant. You need just one more. Can you find the Contessa? Moon Lake. Moon Lake. Is he still there? Yeah. Contessa. Good day. Put it in jail. Go ahead. <laughs> Jail. 
Nice job. Stay right there. I'll be with you in just a minute. First off, Vasi, uh, great job, man. Really great job. We got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do we have? Top-notch skills and a little luck. That's what makes a great gumshoe. Your luck ran a bit short today, but you definitely got the right stuff. That's why I'm giving you this great Acme gumshoe gear, plus two of these Acme secret senders. One for you and one to lend a friend. It sends secret messages, stores addresses and phone numbers, controls your TV and VCR, and gives your daily fortune. Let's see, today it says... Wow! Oh, I could be the next Detectives Bowling League champion. A champion. I could be a champion. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot. Congratulations! Thanks a lot, Chief. Congratulations, Liliana. Here is your portfolio inside. Piece of paper pen. Write down where you like to go. If you catch Carmen San Diego, here we go. <laughs> choice now you know all we need is a phone call to tell us where she is hold on one second hello yes she's right here it's for you this prison food is so dreadfully boring i can't even get a jar of gray poupon maybe carmen could help but she's in africa go find her good enough liliana chief what do you say here's a list of places carmen may have traveled the gambia Cote d'Ivoire, Mali, Central African Republic, Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, Angola, Botswana, Zimbabwe. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> Let me explain for those who may not know. What you've got to do is identify eight places in 45 seconds. When you are right, you will hear this sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, don't even worry about it. Leave the market where it is. We will continue on from there. But if you are right eight times, I say eight times in 45 seconds, then you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. Lillian, are you ready to do this thing? Yes. You guys ready to do this thing? Yeah. Are you sure she can do this thing? Let's do it. Come on, let's go. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Everybody cheer her on. Good luck. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Carmen went to Aswan, Egypt. 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 Yeah, let's go. Wild Sudan. Sudan. Do it. Sudan. Go, buddy. Sudan. Let's go. Zimbabwe. Harare, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Harare, Zimbabwe. Try it again. Zimbabwe. Hurry. Come on back. Come on back. Mali. But make them Mali. 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 Hurry. 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 That's it, guys. Try to get, try to get Mali, 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 Mali. Yeah, let's go, come on. Uganda, Kampala, Uganda, Uganda, Uganda. Go, 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 go. Oh, where are we going? Try to get Uganda. Come on back, come on back. Cote d'Ivoire, mine Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire, Cote d'Ivoire. You know this one, right? You got it. Try to get, try to get, try to get. Yeah, let's go, come on. And go. How many? Four and 45 seconds. This is a tough map. Big round of applause, guys. Here we go. Very tough map. You did a great job. You've been doing great stuff all day today. Chief, what do you have for? Darn that Carmen. She can be really tough to catch. But we're all very proud of the skill you showed today, and we've got just the gift for a gumshoe on the go. This Acme Pocket Color Television with an active matrix screen. Just think, the next time you're stuck on an all-night stakeout, you won't have to miss your favorite shows. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Uh, you feeling all right? Yeah. You guys feeling all right? Everybody say, I feel good. I feel good. Like I know that I should. <laughs> Listen, you've been doing some great stuff today. There's one more thing, though, I want you to do. You know what it is? Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me, where in the world? Steal their soul in South Korea Make it but it comes right up the Pump of red season Three land building Sing in the blues Well they never ask and so 
We bust those crooks, they pay the price. Five finger discounts just ain't nice. Geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. The program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.